Hi, how are you doing? Welcome back. Again, I wish I could be there with you, hear how you're doing. And if you feel and would like to, you can please send me a note, an email, or ask me a question, and I will answer it in one of my upcoming videos. We have made it through one out of the two slides that listed all the bullets on the healing journey, and we are now going to talk about bullet on the top of that second page, and it says, understanding that it wasn't your fault. I just wanted to quickly mention again, the healing journey steps that I've outlined here are modified from the Courage to Heal book, the classic. Uh, always recommend survivors, you know, that are starting out to get that book. There's also uh, the Courage to Heal workbook. It has great step-by-step -step, uh, support and journaling and exercising and education, which is very important for us as we go through the unfolding and the healing. So, like I said, talking about it wasn't your fault. I talk a lot about that it wasn't your fault because that's a, such a powerful voice in our heads that it was your fault, you did something wrong, you know, how could you be so stupid or you made him do this to, to you or her. So we need to really understand how to stop that loud negative voice or belief to run our thoughts because when we think we are to blame for everything, right, then we end up feeling bad about ourselves. Our thoughts lead to our feelings. And how can you feel good about yourself when you feel responsible for everything, but mostly the abuse you suffered? And then when we feel so bad about ourselves, chances are we aren't making good choices, taking some positive action and responding with positive uh, ways to other people or to ourselves, making some healthy choices. It all just connects, bing, 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 bing. So how can you free yourself from blame? Because that is what we can do when we understand that it wasn't your fault. You were just a child. You did what you had to do to survive. And I have found survivors are actually incredibly creative and courageous when it comes to surviving, you know, in pretty bad situations. So you already have some strengths and some talent and some wisdom about how to make it. You already have. You're here. So free yourself from that blame. And if you want to learn more about how to really hone in and pinpoint those beliefs, those negative beliefs, some schools, tools that we can use to get there, to change them, I can help you. Let me know. Send me an email or uh, follow up on my, my website because I'm going to be offering some support groups where that's one of the things that we work on. So, but one of the things that can be hard to understand and to really take in that it wasn't our fault when we don't get validation from anybody. There was no one else that, chances are, there was no one else that could witness what happened. And the other person isn't going to say, I'm sorry, I hurt you. Very few of us ever get validation from the person that hurt us. And that's part of our pain, right? That's part of our confusion. This person I trusted, this person I was dependent upon them, um, I loved them, but they hurt me. And some of them may even have hurt us in the name of love. And it creates terrible confusion for our inner child. And we're going to talk about that later. But understanding how you can get that validation for yourself and for what happened to you and why it wasn't your fault regardless of whether you get the validation from the person that hurt you or not we can do that it's possible and it's a process we have to go through to let go of that guilt because from that guilt and that blame and that pain we find ways to numb that pain 
And for so many of us, our coping isn't very healthy. So I'm not going to keep it any longer today. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for listening. I love to share this information with you. And I keep thinking about what were some of the things that I would have loved to have heard from someone else, preferably from someone that has been there when I started my healing journey. I'm paying it forward. I'm giving you the information that I feel like would have been extremely helpful for me to know and hear 20 years ago when I started because I want you to get through this much faster because I know you can and I can show you how. I can support you. So in the meantime, follow up on the, some of the resources that I've listed below this video and email me if you have any questions and I'll make a video of some of those questions. But thank you again for taking the time for being here and remember, it wasn't your fault.